Hey guys, it's Sam Geek, and this is my review of Overlord 2 for the PlayStation 3 and the Xbox 360. Overlord 2's story starts you off as a young boy from Nordberg who's been picked on and teased by all the kids in his village when minions found him, and they decided that he had the potential to be their new overlord. This is what starts off your adventure. Now the first hour to two hours of the game are very, very boring, because you're basically searching for and training to become the Overlord rather than actually, you know, playing as him. It's the first mission is really just a tutorial level, and the second mission can be kind of tedious and boring. But after that, the game gets really fun when you have multiple classes and you're organizing and you're um, throwing different types of classes at different types of enemies as well as slashing people yourself. But that doesn't come until the third or fourth mission, so it kind of starts off slow. So if you don't like this game at first, give it a little more of a chance, because when you start it off, it's very, very slow. However, there are two main flaws with this game. The first one being the camera. The camera can be very, very, very annoying when it just randomly zooms in and out on you for no particular reason sometimes. Also, the camera's controls are very awkward, because... One way to direct your minions into certain places is to use the right stick, but the right stick also controls the camera. Now, Codemasters did develop somewhat of a workaround, where if you press down on R3 or the right stick, you can somewhat change camera views, but it doesn't work too well, and it doesn't make the camera any really less awkward, it just puts it in another awkward position. The other major flaw in the game is the minion AI. I don't know what it is about the minions, but they just can't get through their head that maybe running directly into the water and drowning is a good idea. And it can be very annoying where there, when there's an enemy near like a pit of lava or water and you direct your minions to their, towards that area and they accidentally kill themselves. The game is around six to seven hours long and the achievements and trophies are actually pretty, you know, decently hard to get and are actually worth going back for because some of them are pretty fun, like killing 100 seals. But there is not much replayability to this game. I mean, it just doesn't feel like I'd ever go back and play the storyline again. It just doesn't seem that much fun to do it again. Now, the differences between the Xbox 360 version and the PlayStation 3 version of this game are the fact that the PlayStation 3 version has a bit longer load times and there's no option to install. But other than that, they're literally the exact same game. However, the, another thing to take into consideration when trying to choose between a multi-plat purchase is the fact that the PlayStation 3 version and the Xbox 360 version also heavily rely on trigger usage. And if you don't like the PlayStation 3's triggers, which a lot of people don't, this may be an issue for you. The levels themselves are actually quite fun, and there's actually a lot of unique styles of gameplay. However, some of the things just don't make sense, such as the currency system. I mean, you can buy upgrades to your weapon. I mean, you could buy um different weapons and different, you know, styles of armor, and you can bring minions back to life, but overall, I've never seen, you know, minions do that much more damage when you bring them back to life from like a level 5 to, to when you create a new one at level 1. I have also haven't noticed that much of a difference between the weapons that would actually warrant using Dark Crystal. I mean, for the armor, you do have a lot more health. But for the weapons, I just don't see that. It seems Overlord 2 has a lot of good ideas, but a lot of them aren't implemented correctly. I think that they should have focused more on the leveling of the minions and improved the minion AI, as well as make buying weapons, you know, actually worth it. Another problem I really have with this game is that the enemies never really seem to get tougher. I mean, you go on and you fight basically reskinned enemies, although there's different forms of enemies such as the Romans, you know, animal activists, and rebel villagers. I never feel like I'm fighting any different types of enemies. They basically seem to be on all the same difficult level. 
overall, I can't really recommend Overlord to newcomers, but if you enjoyed the first Overlord or enjoy games similar to Pikmin, you will love this game. However, due to the camera problems, the crappy AI, and the fact that, you know, just a lot of the stuff isn't really worth replaying, I can't really recommend a purchase. However, the game isn't that bad. So, it's definitely a rental, but not much else. Overlord gets 7 dead baby seals out of 10.